Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Something a little different today. They say you're supposed to experiment on YouTube. I have an experiment. I had an idea, something called three minute photo thoughts, which might sort of be a, a vignette, a conversation starter about a photographic topic. And hopefully something that people would continue the conversation in the comments section below. And maybe even we can start a small supportive community to discuss all things photographic. Anyway, it's an experiment, it's an idea, I'd like to give it a try. If it works out and there's an interest, maybe produce one of these a week as well as the Thursday video. Well anyway, we're going to give it a try. Let's get started with the first three minute photo thought. So this three minute photo thought is about having photo buddies that you feel comfortable enough to share your work with and get input from without feeling criticized. I have, well, there's a group of us, about six or seven people. Uh, we go out to shoot every Sunday morning, or at least we did in the pre-COVID era. And then after the shoot, we would go out to breakfast and bring work with us, the work that we did during that week, and share it with each other to get input. Now, you know, since coronavirus, we haven't been getting together to do the shoots, and I hope that comes back, you know, at some point in the near future sure everybody does uh, at any rate but we still get together by zoom and we meet every Sunday morning and uh, we show each other our work by sharing our computer screen and seeing what everybody thinks and, and getting some input about what we've done during the week so anyway on the latest zoom meeting I was showing this photo that I took at Bandon Beach in Oregon when I took it the subject of the photo was the reflection of the sky and clouds and the sand and I left in a bit of the sea stacks and ocean as an anchor of sorts in order to establish location. My friend Mark said, I see a second photo in there. And I could just see him making that motion that we all do, you know, with our hands to sort of block out part of the picture and make the crop. And, you know, he's probably going like this on his computer screen to see what it uh, would look like if he cropped it where he thought. Anyway, the second photo that he saw within the first was this one. And I have to admit that, first of all, I hadn't seen it. And second of all, I like it. So it was like getting two for one. And the first image was taken with a high megapixel camera. So between that and new software available for upsizing, there were plenty of pixels left in the second image to be able to make a nice print. So I think there are several points to be made here. The first is that it can be useful to have photo friends that you can share your work with and get feedback from. The second is that it's probably a good idea to have an open mind when people are giving you feedback on your work. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to listen to them, it doesn't mean that you have to change your artistic vision, but sometimes they may have ideas that you might find really useful, that you might want to incorporate into your work and can help push your work forward. And the third thing is that sometimes there are images within other images that may just be worth saving and using as separate photographs. So what are your thoughts about all this? Do you photograph by yourself or do you photograph with friends? And if you photograph with friends, do you find that that enhances your creativity or perhaps stifles it some? Do you share your work with friends? Do you have people that you share your work with? And if you get feedback from them, has that feedback been helpful to you? And thirdly, have you found images within images of yours that are separate photographs that are worth saving separately? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. I think this will be an interesting experiment. I hope to see you on Thursday when I have what I think at least is an interesting video about collecting photography books. I'm Howard, and we'll see you next time.